Well, hello, and welcome to Quip Gun. Got a great Acme sheeter. It's a floor model. Uh, you know what? I could sit here and tell you all about it, but why should I? Uh, we've got the internet, and on the internet, we can make videos, and on the video, you can see for yourself how great it works. All right, this is it. Notice the wonderful paint job. This thing was disassembled, everything taken apart, sanded down, cleaned up. Brand new paint job, looks beautiful. Be proud to put this in your place. Uh, there are bearings in a sheeter, did you know that? Yes, there are, there are bearings here, here, and that's not all, not even close. There are bearings here, 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 and down here. You can actually see one of them right there, that silver and black part. Now those bearings, if you've ever bought a sheeter from anybody but QuipCon, you don't know if those bearings have been replaced. You buy it from QuipCon, you know they've been replaced. This is one of the old bearings right there. That's actually all of the old bearings. We put all new bearings, and you know what? There's really not much wrong with these bearings, how great they work. But you know what? We don't care. We said, you deserve new bearings. So we put new bearings in it. Now this is the dough that I'm going to sheet. I call it dough. Uh, you probably wouldn't call it dough. It's flour and water. I actually made it, uh, let's see, two days ago. It's got chunks of hard dough in it. It's got chunks of dirt in it. I've been kind of using it to test a few pieces of equipment. So I figured, uh, why waste flour? I'll use it on this. This dough is a little sticky. See it sticking to my hand, uh, actually. The guys in the Marine Corps used to call me Sticky Dough Joe, and you know the really bad part about that is I was never in the Marine Corps. I was in third grade. They would come to the fence and they would yell it across the fence at school, and well, kind of hurt my feelings. Might uh, explain the bedwetting, but you know I'll talk to my therapist about that. All right, we're going to turn it on, and you know what? I'm going to turn it back off, and I'm going to first show you these cool little adjustments. These adjustments adjust the thickness of the dough. So we're gonna set this one right around two, and that'll be that. You know what, I think I'm gonna go just a little bit wider than that because my dough is pretty bad. <laughs> if you go too thin with really sticky dough, it tends to wanna pile up. All right, and there's the bottom one. You can see that, this is the adjustment. There's one thing I wanna show you on this adjustment. Somebody obviously used it without the washer. See this little washer here? It's got little teeth that bite into there. And if you use it without the washer, you get some wearing on this part. Uh, we put the washer back on, so it's not gonna get any worse, but I told you all the good things about this sheeter. I'm also gonna tell you all the bad things. That's one of the bad things right there. Actually, that might be the only bad thing. I can't think of anything else right now, but we'll look through. I mean, it is used, so you know, it's not gonna be right off the assembly line fresh, but uh, that right there is the only thing that I can think of that is, uh, you know, that's not perfect on it. And I say perfect because we're the ones that redid it, so of course I'm going to say perfect. All right, turn it on. Drop the dough through. Look at that. Comes out nice and sheeted. Now I could actually use this dough right now if that's all I wanted, but no. You say you want more. Well, here's more. Going to turn it on. It's going to go through this. Look at that beautiful piece of sheeted dough. It's even got dirt, it's kind of the marbled effect. We'll call it marbled dough, it's beautiful. Um, this is a brand new belt. Uh, we just got that. The only flower on it's gonna be from this piece of dough. The only fingerprints on it are gonna be mine because as you can see, um, I'm not the cleanest guy in the world. It's got a place down here where you can store press boards if you have a press board for one of these. And if you don't, imagine you could put sheet pans down there. Why not? Uh, power switch on and off. Whoops, almost lost my dough. One time I set a camera on one of these and ran it right off the end. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. Uh, also works good to hang your dough on. All right, we're going to turn it on. I'm going to show you the speed adjust here. You can see the motor goes in and out. So the belt gets tighter. I say tighter, it's not really tighter. The uh, size of the pulley changes, so it goes faster and slower. The chain moving right along.
Now most of that noise you hear is from the belt. See how this belt, I'm going to try to sneak the camera in here, maybe you can see. This is the pulley here, and this pulley gets wider and narrower as you pull it out. So the belt rubs on the side of the pulley, so you get a lot of noise out of that, but uh, it's a good effective way because you got a lot of surface area for this belt to grip on. You don't have the slippage that you might have if you didn't have this type of pulley. Um, a lot of the noise is coming from the scrapers too. You've got, you've got uh, these pieces of metal right here. See there's a scraper, there's the spring rubbing right on the uh, roller down here. So, you know, it's not uh, going to be whisper quiet. It's just part of the deal. Let me open this up. And you can see we've got a scraper right here. This is the one that actually catches the dough. Got a scraper right here that cleans the top roller. And we got a scraper hidden right down underneath here that uh, cleans the bottom roller. Now these scrapers come off real easy. Got a couple springs that hold them on. So if you want to clean them, and I know you do because I'm sure that uh, you are one of the cleanest bakeries in town, right? Uh, pull these across, pull these four out and the uh, scrapers come right off. So believe me, we've seen some of these things come in with so much dough caked on them, you wonder uh, how they even worked. So, but uh, they do, they just keep right on going. All right, if you have any questions about this, I know this video was a little long. Uh, actually, my battery indicator is blinking, so that means it's time to quit. Uh, you can give us a call. Our phone number is 636 583 8200. Or you can check out the pictures, which you really should. We're going to have pictures with the back on. See, I got the back off so you can see the back is actually laying right there. On our website, which is www.quipcon, Q-U-I-P-C-O-N.com. Uh, check out the pictures there and then give us a call if you've got any questions.